this does not just apply with your your financial success this is for all areas of life we have relationships out there where you know we have been trying to work on our families and our wives our children our husbands and we find that for some reason this difficulty that we face is our Goliath we yeah we've beaten the wolf before but this this beast is so much stronger someone's bigger yeah we beaten this bear before but this is more ferocious this is more vicious yeah we beaten this lion before but this seems so much bigger and it overshadows everything that we've ever seen before it doesn't mean that we're going to lose it means that we're going to have an even greater story to tell after we've beaten this one Hey peeps, I'm Rick Roberts, and this is Rick Roberts Like the Podcast, where we talk about my faith, my thoughts, my life, and today is Motivation Monday, and what I want to talk to you about today is a fascinating man named David. Now, everyone knows the story of David and Goliath, you know, David goes out, this guy's talking trash, David, you know, knocks him out with one rock, cuts his head off, wins the battle, wins part of the kingdom, and you know, just changes the game. But the question is, did it start there? Where did all this build from? Now, David, he had a lot of like challenges leading up to Goliath. He didn't just walk out one day and just see Goliath standing there and fight Goliath. No, before he got to that point, God had him fight a wolf. He had him fight a bear. He had him fight a lion. And by the time David got to Goliath, he looked at Goliath and he smiled because he knew he already had beaten him because he beat the wolf, he beat the bear, and he beat the lion. And he knew that this guy was the next to fall. And as you're walking out to this week to go do your thing, I want you to remember that whatever challenges you face this week, you've already won them. You've already won though. You don't need to worry because you've already won. You have been building up to this moment to go and win this battle. You fought your wolf, you fought your bear, you fought your lion. Now it's time for you to fight this Goliath. And to fight this Goliath with a smile because you've already won. Every moment leading up until this point was for this victory. So don't let this thing intimidate you. Don't let this thing make you back down. Stand up, stand firm, and let this thing know that you're here to win and you're not looking to run. You're not looking to lose. You're looking to take everything and you're gonna keep moving forward. You see, what I want to uh, to talk to you about is this does not just apply with your your financial success this is for all areas of life we have relationships out there where you know we have been trying to work on our families and our wives our children our husbands and we find that for some reason this difficulty that we face is our Goliath we yeah we've beaten the wolf before but this this beast is so much stronger someone's bigger yeah we beaten this bear before but this is more ferocious this is more vicious yeah we beaten this lion before but this seems so much bigger and it overshadows everything that we've ever seen before it doesn't mean that we're going to lose it means that we're going to have an even greater story to tell after we've beaten this one so i want you to look this challenge in the eye I want you to smile, and I want you to say this. Repeat after me. But I've already won, though. But I've already won, though. You will not beat me, because I've already won. Everything leading up to this moment has got me ready for you. I am going to destroy you. You will not destroy me. I am here, because I have already won. You just don't know it yet, and you're about to find out. This is going to be a good story. And so keep this in mind. Whatever it is you're going to face this week, you have already won. You just need to have the good story to go about this victory. 
This thing's gonna fight you. This thing's gonna claw you. This thing's gonna swing at you. This thing's gonna curse you. This thing's gonna come for you. But you're gonna be the one at the end of the day standing with the victory. You have to continue to realize that each and every day you are facing the wolf, the bear, the lion for the Goliath that is to come. You have to get stronger. You have to get wiser. You have to mature into what it is that you are made to do. And since you are maturing, since you're growing, you're, you're going to always be going through adversity because that's how you get stronger. When you overcome adversity, the confidence grows and you feel that there are more things that you're capable to do and you take on more responsibility. You have to grow and you have to keep reaching for your growth. Reaching for what is rightfully yours and life is not just going to give it to you. So you have to stand up and you have to be willing to fight for it and take it. Whatever you have to do, you have to take it because it's yours. It is rightfully yours and you have to show people that you've earned it. And that's why difficulties are there. It's to help you to see that when you go through this difficulty that God was with you the entire time and you are able to see that you have earned the victory for the one who made you. You can give testimony for how you came through it and say that you serve a great and powerful God because look at what you've gone through and you are still standing. This wolf in front of you, this bear in front of you, this lion in front of you will fall. And that giant that is standing in front of you will definitely fall. But you need to have faith and you need to be brave and you need to keep moving forward. I'm Rick Roberts and you stay classy. Bye.